that you're walking in, yep, it's important to know where a 90 degree angle is. So to his point, if you're a slicer, when you walk in here, you will always stop short of that line and put your club down because it's intuitive, instinctive for you to do that. But then when you do it, every time you set up, you're gonna be aiming left. Yep. You don't have a choice. Guys that are basically hookers, they walk past that line. They'll walk in and then they'll turn over here and when they set the club down, everything's set up a little right. And you need to learn where this 90 degree line is so that when you walk in and get your parallel, to what Johnny was just saying, you, you walk in, you get your parallel. Now look, Tommy was watching me a week ago. It's not even that long. I was hitting a few drivers down here. He goes, where are you aiming? I was like, uh, at the cabana, he goes, he goes, dude, you are aiming over here. And I start getting out of my routine. I was just putting balls down yeah. and hitting them, right? So to Johnny's point, you go through it, Johnny, right? You pick your spot, Yep. you got your line, right? If you're hitting up at that cabana, you know, you pick whatever you're looking at, a piece of grass, we'll throw a golf ball on there. But if that was your spot, you go, okay, I'm gonna go over the right side of that golf ball, right? And you walk in there, club face, shoulders, everything's now lined up perfect. And from there, you build that routine, and then it's just swing. Yep. Backwards, forwards. Yep. That's, that's not, this is, you have to really preach this for people, but I get it when you're popping and you're shanking and, you know, so you have to, you have to get to 